Floods, droughts, wildfires, extreme weather events affect us all. But what exactly will happen to my city, my neighborhood, my house? To help us understand and combat the effects of climate change, the EU just launched a gigantic project, a digital twin of planet Earth. Digital twin? What's that again? A digital twin is a virtual representation of an object or a system. It mirrors the real-world counterpart. Digital twins are designed to be realistic and AI is used to simulate various scenarios. Those are meant to help us make better decisions. The EU's project Destination Earth or Destiny could for example answer questions like Is this the right place to build my house? What else can we use Destiny for? Various simulations will be accessible through the Destiny platform. The app could show you things like what might happen when a flood hits your neighborhood or how different climate scenarios could affect tourism in your region. If you're a farmer, you might want to check how the climate will affect your harvest. Or maybe you simply want to know where to best place solar panels. The possibilities are endless. The Destiny platform offers users and developers tools to build their own specific scenarios. Right now, there are only a few services up and running as the data is still being added. The goal is to have a full digital replica of Earth and all its systems by 2030. So how is it built? The core is a massive database called Data Lake. It compiles environmental data from major providers like the European Space Agency, the Earth Observation Institute Copernicus and many more. Whenever scientists run a simulation on the digital twin, data produced by the model is also fed back into the database. By the way, not only the EU is developing a digital twin of planet Earth. Chipmaker NVIDIA also has one. According to them, Taiwan's government plans to use their model to predict typhoons. But there's not only digital twins of our planet. These data models can be used in all kinds of contexts. What else could digital twins be used for? Here's three examples. Making surgery safer. A digital twin of the human body or a specific organ can help test procedures before an actual surgery. Simulating surgeries on a digital twin could help estimate risks, making the process much safer. Making your city more livable. With digital twins of cities, urban planners can test how greening and building structure affects air quality, temperature or wind, for example. This kind of information can help decide where to put shops, schools or roads. Making trains more punctual. Germany's national railway company Deutsche Bahn is creating a digital twin of their rail network. Simulating changes to train routes or schedules could help estimate the consequences for travelers and minimize disruptions. In short, digital twins are meant to maximize efficiency and minimize risks. However, they require loads of computing power, currently available only to big institutions. This is the computer that runs NVIDIA's Digital Earth, by the way. But who knows, in the future we might all carry our own digital twin in our pockets when we visit the doctor. Wouldn't that be amazing? That's all from me today. Have a good one.